Good morning. This video, for the next few days, I'm gonna try my best to be Proverbs 31 woman. And I know that that's a lifestyle, but I figure if I record myself, I'll have to really live it out. I don't struggle too much with almost everything. Thank you, Jesus. But the one thing I do struggle with is getting up early. I forced Daniel to get me up this morning at five. It was super fun. I'm gonna brush my teeth, wash my face, get this little munchkin ready, and then we're gonna head to the gym. Yo. We're now both ready. I'm on my way to the gym. The childcare opens at eight. It's 7.58. So we're on our way there. She can be there for two hours. So <laughs> she's gonna be there for two hours so she can bond and socialize with other children and then i can get an hour to work out and then an hour to pray or do whatever i need to do i brought my sword so i'm trying to read psalms like i've been feeling really led to read psalms i think i'm on psalm 12 but proverbs 31 10 it is this mother or mother-in-law speak to this son son-in-law saying this is what you should look for in a wife this is how a godly wife should be so that is the blueprint you know because for guys it's a checklist and for girls it is too so i gotta hit them check marks so today i got up at five in the morning to cook for my husband and my daughter and it was real tough i'm not even gonna lie i got up turned off my alarm and then i <laughs> I went back to the bed, but it's okay because then I, I was like, hey, hold up. You know that, that scripture? Oh, just a five more minutes, just a little resting of the eyes and then poverty comes and snatches you. And I don't want poverty to come to me financially, spiritually, physically. Not me. If, if it has poverty, I don't want it. And the Bible speaks really down on laziness. And that's probably one of the things that I slip into being lazy. Not anymore. Okay, so I'm gonna be trying to work out every day, uh, eat what I need to. I'm gonna try to keep track of what I eat tomorrow. Today, I'm just gonna try to eat the best I can. Cause for me, I don't struggle with gluttony at all. If I struggle not to eat. And I was telling Holy Spirit, I'm like, I don't wanna eat. Oh my goodness, this and that. And then he reminded me of Elijah, that the angel literally came to him and was just like, eat, take a nap. And get to work so i know that i have to eat <laughs> as silly as it sounds so fasting to me is not that hard because i know i'm not gonna die i'll be fine if i don't eat for a day you know mm, practicing our walking skills all right so today i'm hitting legs let me show you my modest proverbs 31 fit I'm doing lots of uh, squatting and fun stuff like that. So I don't want to cause a brother or sister to stumble. I'm going to cover my booty. And then I would wear leggings, but I hate the scrunching that happens like on your little knee armpit when you do squats. So I have long shorts that go right above my knee. Let's do it. I'm not going to record my workout. I can go to another, <laughs> another channel for that, but I'll be back and you'll probably see me sweaty. <laughs> So I felt like I was gonna throw up the whole time. So I think tomorrow, I think I'm gonna pray first and read my Bible and then I'll work out to let myself digest. But whatever, too late, it's in the past. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang out in the lobby and pray there. Whoever hears me, hears me, whatever, who cares? No fear of man, not here. The scriptures on there. Look bruh even the darkness will not be dark to you but the night will shine like day for darkness as light to you psalm 139 12. what i literally was saying that i was gonna read psalms what are the chances right all of the scriptures i could have put on here and the psalms well, i just finished reading a few psalms bruh let me read you psalm 15 because this is crazy verse 1 through 5 it's only five verses lord who may dwell in your secret tent who may live on your holy mountain those whose walk is blameless who does what is righteous 
who speaks truth from their heart and whose tongue utters no slander, who does no wrong to a neighbor and casts no slur on others, who despises a vile person but honors those who fear the Lord, who keeps an oath even when it hurts and does not change their mind, Ooh. who lends money to the poor without interest and who does not accept a bribe against the innocent. Whoever does these things will never be shaken. Bro, that's crazy. Like, especially the part where it says, who keeps an oath even when it hurts and does not change their mind. And when I thought about that, I thought about my wedding vows because one of the things that I vowed to him is that I will love him biblically, not just how I feel. So in 1 Corinthians 13, that it says love is kind, love is patient, uh, it holds no grudges, all of these different things. And I vowed that I'm going to choose to love him like that. And sometimes it hurts. Sometimes, I'm not going to lie, I want to hold a grudge or I don't want to be kind to him. But it hurts and I won't change my mind. So, I don't know, man. That's crazy. But I have to pick Salem up in like mm, 20 minutes because then it's going to be two hours. So, I just read my Bible and then I was kind of falling asleep. So, I came to the basketball courts and i'm gonna worship here who cares change the atmosphere you know there's nobody here so i think it should be pretty easy got my airpod in i think i can get a few songs in some tongues in. it's gonna be great great start to the rest of the day so i just got back home prayer was good yeah both my knees did like the stanky leg out of nowhere so that's really da, da, da. home girl doesn't want to eat so that's really cool. I was like, <laughs> I was trying to make sure she wasn't falling asleep in the car because I'm trying to get her down to one nap at 12. And Miss Girl decided to wake up at five in the morning instead of seven. So she wants to take a nap now. But you can't. You gotta wait till 12. So her napping schedule has been like me. But her eating, oh my goodness. Like, I don't want to force her to eat so she has a bad relationship with food and then doesn't want to eat more. But, but she eats, like, four Cheerios, and then she's like, I'm stuffed. Can't wait until tomorrow. Why you do that? Because you're crazy. Rawr. Rawr. Girl. All right, so I'm going to make myself... Hopefully, Salem wants to drink some of that. I'm gonna put some protein in it. Yeah, and then try to figure out what to cook for dinner because I'm trying to gain weight. And then Daniel, my esposito, he's trying to lose weight. So it's kind of like, it's kind of hard to know what to cook. And then he's telling me that he doesn't want to eat rice, beans, and chicken every day. And that's like in my blood. So this is really hard to try to figure out what to cook that it doesn't involve rice every day. And I made rice, beans, and chicken yesterday. So I guess we'll see. Who's that I got her to eat? Sharing is caring. <laughs> I know some people might think this is gross, but like I guess in, in my eyes, she was literally inside me and I nursed her, so I'm used to her taking stuff from me. I don't know, I, I, don't, I don't think it's gross. Maybe when she gets older. She's eating. <laughs> if I were to give her her own cup and straw, she would not drink it. <laughs> right, that you wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. Da da. Mhm. Mm da da. This is to Papa. <laughs> this girl loves her dad. Mhm. Mm da da. Da 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 da. Mama. Mm. And she looks just like him too. If you're wondering why she doesn't look anything like me. Or you look like Dada. 
da, da, da. Exactly. <gasps> Snap. Yeah. Yes, you look just like him, bro. <gasps> no way. It's like the scripture says, you know, we're supposed to be imitators of our father. So she literally looks like her dad. <laughs> 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 papa. Papa. <laughs> ¿Verdad que tú lo ama? ¿Tú ama a papá? So pretty. After rubbing some scrambled eggs in the carpet and eating 12 grains of rice, she has decided that she's full. Uh, she had some smoothie, so that's good. And now, it's time for her first nap. <laughs> And she loves to fight me. So let's see how long that takes. It's gonna be really fun. <laughs> She's asleep now, so that's fantastic. I looked in our pantry. We don't have a plethora of ingredients. So it's either potatoes or rice. I'm thinking potato salad, chicken, and carrots. So I'm gonna defrost the chicken clean up this fun stuff i gotta clean the bathroom because i haven't cleaned them i'm a good cleaner but i think the bathroom is my least favorite thing to clean just because i gotta break my bag scrubbing the toilet in the bathtub but it's okay it's gonna get done and it's gonna be fine because i hate how the sink looks when it gets dirty and it has a toothpaste on it i want to see how much i can get done i'm a pretty fast cleaner no offense you know what let me share my cute little cleaning technique let's look at this dirty kitchen so the first thing that you do you go in a circle right so i would take everything that's not supposed to be there put it away right put away the dishes put the dirty dishes in the dishwasher all that fun stuff then i come back i wipe everything down doo -doo 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 -doo. And then I sweep the floor. You're just going in circles, you don't know, backtracking, you go room by room, so you're not just bouncing all around the house like, like you're in a pinball machine. Right now it is 12.49. I'm gonna eat some rice and tuna. Rice, what a surprise. 12.50. Let's see how fast I can clean everything, and then hopefully I have time to re-watch the sermon from last Saturday because it was crazy. Pastor Roach was talking about faith. Changed my life. So I'm gonna watch it again. Maybe I'll pick up some things that I didn't pick up last time I heard it. That's the plan. Let's see, 12.50, go. I finished cleaning the house. It looks very pretty or whatever. The chicken is defrosting. I'm gonna take it out and then let it marinate in all-purpose seasoning. But look how pretty. I'm still eating, so. Beto. My bathroom looks really nice now. So I'm gonna finish eating, get the chicken marinating, multitasking. You know what I'm saying? Salem woke up from her nap like two hours early, but it's okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it was you. She didn't want to eat again, but Cheerios, forgot about it. She's eating her Cheerios. I got my potatoes in the little toaster oven. I got the chicken thighs in there. Uh, get yourself frozen vegetables. Look at that, it's just cooking in the microwave. Two minutes and it'll be done. And then I have clothes washing. I cannot wait until I start my job. I'm praying that God shows me the right one. It's funny because they're all commission. It is only commission. I applied to almost 20 jobs and the only ones that have called me back, the only ones that have called me back for interviews are 100% commission. So I think that's kind of hilarious how even my finances, I have to have faith. You know, I'm gonna work hard. I'm gonna try to get these sales. But it's pretty crazy because I don't think any of them have a base pay. It's 100% commission. 
And then my husband, we have a business, it's like lawn care. Also gotta have faith, cause you don't know if these people are gonna pay you or not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Salem, what is going on? Why are you so chai? Why are you so chai? Mm. I have plenty of downtime. So the house is always very clean. A lot of time to pray and read. All this love. Oh she is not like this, is she? Why are you so cuddly right now? While the chin <laughs> while the chicken finishes cooking, I'm actually gonna look up some videos and read some articles about the best way to make a sale, like more efficiently, words to use, words not to use, because my husband and God both eventually want me to work in the background of the business. Basically picking up the phone, talking to clients, sending invoices, giving quotes, estimates, all that fun stuff. I'm gonna try to see the best way to make a sale because a Proverbs 31 woman, her husband's heart safely trusts in her and she does him good and not evil all the days of her life. So I wanna live up to my title and that's what I'm gonna do. I watched a few sales videos. I think I learned some information. So that was very fruitful, super boring. I hate like, I feel sometimes like condemned, which is not from Christ because condemnation is not from Christ. That when I'm like spending a lot of time watching something that's not of God, like I just feel kind of like, which it's not like I was watching something bad. I was watching how to make a sale, which is something that I need to learn if I'm going to be working in sales. And if I'm going to be eventually just working for the business, I need to know how to make sales. And it's not a bad thing. I'm just kind of like, I feel like my brain is getting fried. I'm exhausted. I already cleaned the house. And look, now there's already crayons and fun stuff everywhere. I'll clean that later. Yeah, I'd be feeling like, I'm like, what do I have to offer my life? It's a little bit boring. I could show my prayer wall. So here, me and Daniel, mostly me, I put a bunch of things that God has blessed me with. Like when he healed my scalp, like postpartum. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about? How uh, he delivered me from, like how, how to pray. I put Salem up there, my prayers for her. A bunch of things that I think is really encouraging to sometimes go back and read because the enemy and us like the flesh likes to make us forget the goodness of God and this is also my literal closet so this is my prayer closet I sit up here these are the people that I pray for don't look too closely and then I also have prayers behind my clothes that are private Salem is usually not this clingy, but I think just because I'm talking, I think she's jealous that I'm giving my attention to someone or something. Seek him in private and he'll bless you in public. And I am such a living testimony of that. Oh my goodness. God has blessed me so much. I, bruh, I have to say a testimony that I'm gonna write out and put it on my wall. So, I was applying for jobs and things like that, but obviously I had to find a daycare for her first because if I'm gonna be working at a call center job, I can't have her clinging pots and stuff in the back and I can't tell her, hey, sweetie, stop playing and having fun. Mommy's trying to make a sale. That's kind of messed up. Mm. Yeah, so I was praying. I was like, Lord, please help me in what daycare to put her at because daycares kind of scare me a little bit. My sister, she works She's worked in daycares and so has her friends. And I've heard a lot of horror stories and mom has the horror stories with me. So I was like, but at the end of the day, she's God's daughter before she's mine. So God's gonna take care of her before I am. You know, I can't be there every single second of the day, but who is? Holy Spirit. So I was praying. Yeah. I'm like, Lord, please like, and I found this place really far away, 40 minute drive. A 40 minute drive. And I was like, Lord, give me a sign. I need a sign because if this is from you, I need to know. Yeah. 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 
can't wait till your dad gets here. Do you want your straw? Mira. Sorbeto, sorbeto. Yeah. Well, I was getting the tour. This is motherhood for you. So I was getting the tour and I was asking my questions and I asked the lady giving the tour. I was like, what do you guys do for the holidays here? Because, you know, I follow God and I don't remember any of those holidays being in the Bible. No, I just don't want her to get the wrong idea about Christmas and Halloween is not something to be celebrated. We don't celebrate darkness not around here. Okay, so she was like, that's the one I was thinking about. And I was telling her, I was like, yeah, I follow God, so I don't like that Christmas, instead of it being about Christ, it's about what you can get, like making a list and trying to get everything that you can. I don't like it, you know? And she was like, I'm Christian too. And we started sharing scriptures and she was a woman of God. Oh my goodness, so it was a crazy confirmation. She's been thirsting for you all day. Say love. Yeah, go to your dad. He's home. Go to your father. Say that love. you've been wanting to be with him all day long. Say love. I've been wanting to be with you all day long too. Say love. But anyway, so the lady was like, come to my car. I want to give you something. And I thought she was going to give me a church card. Hey. Like, a, oh, this is my church. Come along, whatever. And she was just like, oh, God told me to take this out this morning and i was like oh i'm probably gonna give it to someone she's like and it's you and she gave me she gave me shmoneys and bro financially we've been kind of tight but i know that god's gonna pull through because if he got us this apartment he's gonna pay for it but that was pretty amazing so i gotta put that on the wall as another reminder of god's grace and mercy so this is our meal daniel's has less carbs more greens my husband has more carbs and less greens because i'm trying to gain weight he's trying to lose weight you know what i mean but i was just talking about how good god is look at this daniel's mom got us coffee filters and other filters because i told her that her coffee at her house tastes best coffee i've ever tasted in my whole life and then our coffee was tasting burnt bruh i didn't even record it anyway she got me this coffee um pots and that i can set it to make at five in the morning so that's one less thing that i have to do in the morning i could just wake up to a fresh cup and then she got us these filters i'm so excited i already put the coffee in there but mm. hello pollo 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 so I completely forgot Salem's clothes in the washer so that's really cool but it still smells like baby so that's fine Hello. I have an interview tonight from 9 to 10 over the phone yeah. so I'm gonna shower <laughs> so I don't look like a, a hot guy. mess yeah exactly because I don't want to be like bro I don't want to hire someone that smokes crack so I want to try to look clean and ready to call people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, we usually don't go to church on Wednesdays because it is like an hour away. But my lovely husband decided that like, we can go. And that's completely fine by me. I love going to church. I don't care if I'm tired. But now I got to shower really, really quick. And then I still have the interview at 9. But it's okay. I'll just set an alarm for like 8.55. Right now it's like 6.30, church starts at 7. Um, we'll see, it is going to be fun. Alright, this is my church bit. I don't think you can see because the lighting. Going with the monochrome blue. You know what I mean? Staying icy. What would Jesus do? 
Right, so we just got to the church. I just dropped off Salem. You hear her screaming. You hear this worship? <sighs> this is my church, first love church. I love it so much. Oh my goodness. I forgot my head covering, so I'm gonna just put my jacket on top. We'll figure it out. It's gonna be okay. How exciting! Service was amazing. Yay. Many souls saved. Um, introduce yourself. Shout yourself out. I'm Emily. I'm Denise. Very pregnant, Denise. <laughs> so it is 10:27. Salem is drinking her bottle. She was supposed to be asleep, but who cares, man? Because for Jesus, I'll interrupt a little sleeping schedule. Um, she's still probably gonna get up at five. Hopefully, she gets up at seven. I look super oily. I went through my job interview. I don't really like the job. And bro, so you know how I was saying that I had a crazy encounter at the daycare. So the woman came, I'm so thankful. And the lady that runs the children's ministry, Nani, I love you if you're watching this. She taught her science and she had already followed my pastor on TikTok. That's crazy, like before I even, met her she had already followed my pastor and she already taught her science like what confirmation after confirmation and now she's gonna get plugged in i'm so excited jesus gets the glory every single time every time so daniel's getting somebody's phone number and then we're gonna head on home i'm already showered ready to go to bed i'm just gonna wrap my head or whatever and then on to the same thing tomorrow. I don't know if I'm gonna record tomorrow. Maybe I'll record Saturday. Oh, dang, my arm look mad skinny. I can't even flex, my arm is so sore. Fast forward, now it is Saturday. The past two days, I haven't been reading my Bible like I should, I'm not even gonna lie. And I've been getting more irritated, I guess. Like, easier, easier, easily irritated. So that's my fault, but it is 7 a.m. We were supposed to get up at like five, but then we got up at like 6.30. That's okay. So I'm gonna go mow lawns with Daniel because a Proverbs 31 woman willingly works with her hands. The past two days I have just been applying to jobs and applying to jobs and applying to jobs and applying to jobs but I was chopping it up with the Holy Ghost and I kind of feel like I picked the right one I picked the one that's 100% commission based I really really wanted an hourly one but this one is willing to help me get my health insurance license and they're okay with me not having direct call center experience so even if this job doesn't work out I can go to another one now having that call center experience and having my license so either way it works out and then I'll learn how to make sales which will be really beneficial for our business yeah right now I'm doing invoices in the car while he fills up the gas and things and I'll show you the lawnmower that I'll be riding it is a skag 48 inch v-ride stand on I'd be hurting my hands, so that's why I wear this. Cause you gotta use your hands, you know? Willingly working with them. This is the sexy lawnmower I be driving. Look at that. So I be standing right there. And then these are the hand things. So I have to hold those orange poles and then pull these to each side, depending on whether I wanna go forward, sideways, backwards. But yeah. Look at that, Skag v ride This lawn more be trying to steal my husband away. <laughs> this is the fit. Got the Crocs. I got this to cover my face. So I'm gonna look real cute out there. Oh, A plus pros. Florida's so annoying. It just started raining and it's like 12. So I came out to help so that we can knock all this out so that Daniel can get a day off. But now he's gonna have to work Sunday too because we didn't get all the lawns that we needed to get done because it's raining. 
but it's okay, you know, like, what are we gonna do? It's out of our control. I'm hungry. I feel dirty. But whatever, it was a good day. I can't wait to eat and go to church already so I can just let it all go. I just showered. I feel amazing. I got to put on a bunch of lotion and oils all over my body. I feel there is nothing like taking a really good shower and then getting all moisturized. I feel nice and fresh. I was starving. My mom made me a chicken sandwich. I love her so much because she cooks so quick. Because when I say I'm hungry, I'm like hungry now. Not hungry like, oh, but I can I can wait, whatever. No, like I, <laughs> I get hungry like and I need to eat now. I hate it because then I get like cranky and stuff. I don't know. When I'm fasting, I know that I'm not eating. But when I'm not, I'm like, <laughs> give me food. We're trying to sell one of our assets on Facebook Market. So hopefully this lovely gentleman likes what he sees and buys it. Because we need shmoneys. You know what I'm saying? They seemed interested. They didn't want to get it today, whatever. But it was cool. They were Christian too. And... They went to a church that is right by the beach. <laughs> what? That the, the inside is a beach. The inside is mm. sand. No, it's right across the beach. So when people want to get baptized, they get baptized at the beach. And I think that's pretty cool. Just driving around, trying to <laughs> trying to stalk my clients. I'm not going to show you where I'm at because that will be an invasion of privacy. Exactly. And I'll get arrested for that. Mm -hmm. But I'm just trying to stalk my clients to see how their properties look. Exactly. I wanted to record myself mowing, but then I'm, I'm mowing people's houses, you know, and I'm no, sure that fine. they don't... Well, I'm sure they don't want their... I don't know. They didn't want to go and ask them for permission to mow. Oh, look, they fixed the sidewalk here. It's pretty. On our way to church to greet people or whatever. <sighs> Got Salem in the back. What a happy family. <laughs> Look, I can talk like this without touching my lips together. <laughs> oh, dude. Service is starting. I was thinking that I would vlog what I do during church and things like that, but I figured that could be a good video on its own. So comment down below if you want to know what I do during church, like with greeting and things that happened before, members meetings, things like that. This is a super biblical church. We like to follow biblical concepts, whether we like it or not, we follow it. And we follow a lifestyle of repentance and fellowship. Everybody knows each other and our deepest stuff, no judgment or anything, it's amazing. So I would love to do that. I think it would be great as a video on its own. You guys let me know. But I think I'll see you guys after church so I can really focus on what I'm doing and praying and things like that. Service was awesome, uh, very fruitful. I'm really excited to share what I do during church because now I'm doing a lot of different things. But I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. It is nighttime. It's been a long vlog. There's a lot of room for me to grow. So I think it'll be pretty awesome to see me continuously grow in my channel. And you guys get to be a part of the process. God bless you. Don't give up on your dreams. The dreams that God told you to do that you think that they're impossible, they're not. I'm a living testimony. Even though my business is small my, and I'm out there, only high school diploma, 18 credits, ain't even the full credit. And I'm providing for a whole family of three, myself mm -hmm. included, my wife and my daughter. I'm about to pay my wife's car off and it all comes through faith. Now I have so much faith that I'm trying to do everything and God's <laughs> telling me to slow down. Yeah. So believe in yourself and believe in what God told you. But mostly believe in what God told you. Exactly. Not your own strength. <laughs> yes. Amen. Amen. We could also do a video like with our relationship testimony or something. I don't know. Y'all let me know.